What's happening, people? Welcome to the match reaction. Manchester United 1, Chelsea 1. You know what, man? A strange game. A very, very much strange game. The, the fans are coupling him off, but I tell you what, man. It's very, very dire stuff, man. Still United lacking any quality, man. That's the least the players can do is, is cut the fans off, but yeah, man. Strange game, man. You know what I mean? I think both teams, you can tell that they haven't got much to play for. Chelsea, for me, dominated the first half. David De Gea, that's all I can say about the first half. Must have made about two or three stops. The biggest one, I think, was from Havertz. Point back range, hit him on his belly, I think. And Chelsea were just in cruise control. United couldn't really get at them. I think the five in the back, Chelsea just split the centre backs. We're, we're working motions left to right. And then what was happening was Rashford was very, very ill disciplined. Wasn't tracking Rhys James. Rhys James was, having a, was allowed time and space to bring a ball in the box, in the box all the time. Matic was getting dragged wide. And we were just all over the place. Absolutely all over the place. We couldn't cope with their tactical element. Too sure for me. Fast to play in the first half. But I think that's what sums up the United in a minute. They're just not good tactically in terms of the players can't understand Ralph's tactics. And they've not been understanding for a long, long time, to be honest with you. And that's why the players are just despondent. They haven't got any real qualities. I think most of them are just not good enough, mate. It's only taken Mata to come in for the last five or ten minutes and get the ball, look up and play the right pass. Is there something that Quan Mata, sorry, Bruno Fernandes can learn from, from Quan Mata is how to distribute the ball, how to give the ball and go, how to make the right decisions. Bruno, so many times in the game, wanted to rush it in every single opportunity. Wanted to rush it time and time again. It's not good enough, man. Bruno Fernandes is a kind of an international player. You should know when to pass, when to shoot, when to make the right decisions. And you need to learn of Quan Mata, mate. You definitely, definitely need to learn of Quan Mata. But in overall the game, mate, you know what I mean? You can only thank two people, David De Gea and Cristiano Ronaldo. It's been a similar, similar theme throughout the whole and whole of the season. Relying on two individuals, David De Gea and Cristiano Ronaldo. The first half, David De Gea kept us in it. And certain moments in the second half, I thought David De Gea as well. But Cristiano Ronaldo again. That, that clutch moment, one chance, one goal. And that's what he's all about, man. He does it time and time again. And that's what you're going to get with Cristiano Ronaldo. You know what? This will be certain parts of the team season where I said it's finished. But you know what? I'm going to give full credit to Cristiano Ronaldo. He's done what he's had to do. I think that's 20 for the season now in all competitions. He has done what he's had to do. So you know what? I'm not blaming Cristiano Ronaldo. It's just that bit when, you know, when he was tired and fatigued. I judged him in that moment when I thought he couldn't offer the thing he was. I think we should blame more Cavani for not being available to step in when Cristiano Ronaldo has looked fatigued. But that's just my own opinion. But today, very, very testimonial-like, man. Both teams not really kind of have nothing to play for. I think Chelsea's second half, to be honest with you, didn't have the same momentum as the first half. I think Rodney assured, you know, I mean, the defence a little bit. You know I mean? We weren't easy to kind of break down. But saying that, though, you know, James, I think, hit the post as well. They had a few opportunities where... You know, Chelsea could have done better, but like I said to you, the final third, they're third for a reason. You know, I'm trying to say to you, and where we are in the losing, they dominated for, for large parts of the game. I think we had two, three chances max the whole game, mate. So, it is what it is, people. We are where we are in the league for a reason. And it's another draw. I think that's about, what, 12 draws for the season? I could be wrong. 10, 11 draws for the season. Not good enough. If you want top four, them draws are worse than losses. You know what I mean? Because I think we've got Less losses, I think, than Arsenal, but they've, we've got more draws, so it doesn't make sense for me, but that's what I mean. Kill, draws kill kill momentum, man. It kills everything, man, and that's a problem, man, but it's a, it's a familiar story, and you know, it's one more home game where, you know, I'm looking at Brentford, and they'll easily dominate us as well in midfield. And just look at Old Trafford. We have not made it tough to beat. We have not made ourselves tough to beat Old Trafford. Midfield non-existent. I mean, today, Rashford, oh, my God. For me, you've got to sell him, man. I'm sorry, man. He's not good enough. He doesn't even want to track back. That's how bad it is with with with, um, with, 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 with Marcus Rashford. He don't want to be the simple. He thinks he's bigger than what he is. And that's the, the, means the damning most. When you think you're better than what you are and you can't track back and you're leaving Tellers caught wide open every single time on the edge of that, on the edge of the, on Tellers' side. I mean, what more could Tellers have done? you got, you got so many, uh, like Rhys Jones, you got so many people in the pockets. you got Mason Mount in the pocket there. Always trying to get on the overloads. And Rashford, this doesn't look interesting for me. And that's just damning for me. Absolutely damning. But like I said to you, second half, we were a little bit better defensively, but not much. They got the goal for Alonso. Unbelievable, unbelievable goal. But other than that, mate, it was absolutely 
It's just dire, man. You know what I mean? It's very, very much dire, man. United, for me, this season, it's a right off. It was testimonial today. It really, really was testimonial feel. A lot of uh, day trippers today. A lot of people who come in for the first time. You know what I mean? It was the, the atmosphere was flat. It was only when Ronaldo goal came in, the atmosphere kind of built up. But for me, I just come here for the day out, man. I'm not even going to lie to you. I've just come here just to see Leslie, just to see some friends and that, man. Because I've got no hope in my United, you know, giving us a performance, giving us, you know what I mean? Giving it their all because they haven't got it. And the quality, they haven't got it, man. That's the problem. There's no quality in this team. It's alarming how much, how, how much, like, kind of quality is in this team. There's not at all. It's non existent. It really, really is non existent. And I think that's just a telling reason. Matish, for me, I'm going to give you this point today. You know what? He was the one out there trying to try. And he was the reason why the first goal went in. He's the one that passed it onto Ronaldo. So, yeah, man. Quan Mata. You know what I mean? Just not good enough, man. You know what I mean? Today, again, similar, similar patterns. You could play this match reaction time and time again. And I'll give you the same sort of match reaction. Is that it will be a similar, similar story. United's quality, not good enough. And we were, we are where we are in the league. We are where we are in the league. Don't kid yourselves, people. We are where we are in the league. And that's just the bottom line, people. That is just the bottom line. We've got, I think, three more games left. I think Conference League is where probably my United are going to be this season, if I'm being really honest with you. And that's probably where we deserve to be, Conference League, because that's Conference League football. And you know what? Even in the Conference League, I think teams will probably outplay us in the field. We need proper midfielders. If there's one thing that my United need for me, you can talk about centre-back. I just want proper midfielders, man. People that keep the ball, people that want to play a risk, you know, to have an element of risk, but also know, have that element of intelligence as well, when to play that ball. I just, I generally think, you know, I just lack it in every department, but midfield, just get me some ballers, man, I could just, you know what I mean, do things, you know what I mean, and don't have to have a manager relying on them and just get a co micromanager them. That's what we've got. Bruno is another player and, 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 and Marcus Rashford is another player, but for me, people, same old, same old people. Take care, bye-bye. Much love coming, people. Take care.